Orthopedic appliance gear adjustment. We'll start with an upper Swartz plate, which is the most standard expansion appliance. Has two midline gears in this case. To activate the midline gear, you have arrows that show you the direction to turn the gear. Basically, you place the key in the hole, turn the gear until it stops, and a new hole will come up. That is one activation, which is a quarter millimeter per turn. Usually they'll do this twice a week, and this develops transversely only. Next appliance would be an upper three-way expander. This has two gears in one housing with a second gear on this appliance. Basically what you have is you place a gear to turn transversely. You have an arrow which shows you the direction. Place the key in. Turn the key till it stops. A new hole will come up. Place the key in the hole. Turn the gear until it stops. Each turn is a quarter millimeter per turn. And each gear will have an arrow telling you the direction to turn the key. Then you remove the key and you've activated the transverse expansion. Now this is a case that has a very steep vault. Many times you cannot get the key into the hole when the vault is steep. So you may have to take your key, take a three jaw plier, squeeze the key at about a 45 degree angle, which will enable you to place the key in the hole and turn the gear. Transversely, you might have to turn the key until the new hole comes up. And that's the sagittal activation on a three-way gear. Now on the three-way gear with a single metal housing, you cannot come from the back side. There are three-way expanders that have three separate gears. If you have a difficult time turning from the anterior portion of the appliance, turn the appliance over. You can come from the back side, place the key in the hole, turn the gear, take the key out. And you can do that also on the sagittal portion of the gear. Place the key in the hole, turn the gear till it stops, pull the key out. So you've activated sagittal and transverse. Same goes for the lower Swartz plate. Place the key in the hole, follow the direction of the arrow, turn the key, once the gear stops, that's one quarter activation. 